Good morning. It's day one of the Plant Strong Challenge. I got up a little earlier than I normally do. Um, I think I'm just excited to get started. I'm getting some water going for my black coffee and maybe oatmeal. And I cooked my white beans overnight in my Instant Pot on the slow cooker because I didn't have time to cook them yesterday. So I decided I'd just do it on slow cook. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to decide if I want to do oatmeal for everybody or if I'm going to do an oatmeal bake. So I will let you know. Alright, oatmeal bake it is. I'm saying let's go. You're saying maybe. Let's find a disco. You're stuck at home being so lazy. Hey. Okay, so I added some chia seeds. I really wanted some poppy seeds to make kind of a lemon poppy seed flavor, but I looked everywhere and can't find them. So I added chia seeds instead. Totally not the same thing, but we'll go for it. And then I add a little maple syrup and some water. I'm now going to bake this at probably 350 for 30 minutes. That's on the set it at, but I'll keep checking it. I'm not really a follow the recipe kind of person. I just like to throw things together and hope they work. So let's see how this turns I'm out. I'm starting off with my black coffee while I go get ready for the day. Okay. Ended up cooking it at 350 for 40 minutes and I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to cut into it and we'll see what a piece looks like. Looks good. I'm not a big breakfast eater, but I'm guessing I might eat a little more than this because my daughter and I have to go to town. Let's try it. Yep, it's good. Hello. Just giving a little lunch update. We got done with Brandy's appointment, went grocery shopping, and we were starving and got some sushi to eat. We have avocado rolls, avocado rolls, and vegetable rolls. The place that we have available to go to doesn't have a ton of options. And there's really nowhere else in town that serves healthy food, so we're excited to eat sushi though. So we get home and I'm getting supper ready for the kids before they head off to church and I go to work and I think I'm doing so good. I thought I found these whole grain waffles and I realized I got so excited about the whole grain that I completely missed the oil and the milk and the eggs. Oh no, I made a waffle mistake. Day one. Here's what I learned. Even if you plan out what you're going to eat, you can still make mistakes, like I did with the waffles. I normally would have caught the fact that they had oil and milk and eggs in them because those are ingredients that I've been trying to avoid for quite some time now, but I just got so hung up and excited that they were whole grain that, I don't know, I just thought, easy meal, I'm probably gonna get home later than I want this evening, my kids have to go to church, oh my gosh, this this just be so easy. Um, mm -hmm. So, am I going to start over with a challenge? No. I am going to pick up just right where I am and keep on going. It's a long-term commitment. I've been trying to change the way that I eat for quite some time now and I've made a lot of progress and I've had a lot of setbacks and I've made a lot of poor choices at the same time. Uh, when I'm tired, when I'm busy, those are the times that I make the decisions that aren't the best for me and then it's just a downward spiral and I feel worse and worse until eventually I'm in so much pain that I feel like, you know, I gotta do something. Um, but setting challenges just really helps keep me on track. Like today, if I weren't doing this challenge, I probably would have went and got food that was a lot less healthy than that sushi even though it's kind of expensive and not very filling, um, it was the better choice for my health. And if I weren't doing the challenge, I probably would have found a way to justify getting something less healthy. My takeaway for day one is that even if you don't succeed 100%, you still have made some steps in the right direction. 
because I made a lot of choices today that put me in the direction that I want to go and the waffles were one small setback. Just, just keep going. It's okay. It really is. For a quick recap, my husband and I had the oatmeal bake for breakfast and coffee and my kids each had some oatmeal. My younger kids had some food that I sent with them. I'll show you what that was tomorrow. Brandy and I had sushi for lunch and looking back I wish I would have ordered either steamed rice or they have a vegetable hibachi but I wasn't sure if they use oil in it. I don't think they do but I wasn't sure so we just went with the sushi to be on the safe side. Her and I were both still hungry. My husband said that his day wasn't too much different than what he usually eats. He usually packs pretty good food for lunch. Of course I already had the waffles ready. Kids were eating so we had waffles with bananas, grapes, kiwis for supper and then the kids went to church and I went to work and when we got back the kids were hungry again. So they had some cereal that I had got to make Rip's big bowl with and they ate some more kiwis. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see me do better tomorrow, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when my day two video goes up. I have some meals planned that I will be cooking tomorrow and I'll be home so tomorrow should go much better.